everyone, welcome to another video on my channel. I'm Marshall3498 and today's Moto Vlog topic what I'd like to talk about is once again like most of the time on my channel is uh, motorcycle related. And today what I'd like to share uh, for all you not only veteran and seasoned riders and maybe some intermediates but new riders as well this will in my opinion and you know my take on it this will help everybody uh, be a better rider not only a better rider but a safer rider as well um, five tips uh, that I have for anyone to use in day-to-day -day, um, situations no matter if you're riding in the city uh, commuting um, riding out in the back roads like I like to do a lot um, riding on the interstate just whatever um, there's five of them it's not necessarily no particular order as far as which ones are more important but I will tell you the one that is the most important and that is something they teach you in the MSF class but uh, a lot of other riders who've rode a while will tell you that as well is always look where you want to go turn your head and your eyes and your head uh, because your bo body's uh, natural reaction is to follow where your eyes are going and if you're looking straight into a corner instead of through the corner then your body without you even realizing it, you're gonna get a uh, target uh, fixation and you're gonna go like right towards the curvy road side. Um, but not only will you do that, but the sharper the curve, the more you turn your head through the corner and look through the corner all the way through while keeping your eyes up and looking at the, you know, straight ahead horizon, so to speak. Not only will you do that, but you will uh, you go to the corner smoother, um, not necessarily anything faster, but smoother and easier. You'll find that uh, maybe you'll counter steer a little more or uh, hang off, hang off the seat a little bit, a little bit more, you know, as far as counterbalance, so to speak, to get through the corner. Just, it'll, it'll really help a lot of people, I think. that That's the most important one. It's not really no particular order, like I said, but that's the most important one to use every day. Uh, not only when you do that to look through a corner will you help yourself with all the other things I just mentioned but it'll also help you look for uh, any gravel in the road any road debris maybe a, a dead animal in the road an animal standing in the road just all kind of stuff that'll help everybody I think um, another thing that'll always help everybody and a lot of my vlogs I will do it if I'm uh, commuting and there's a lot of traffic but I have a bad habit of not doing it myself and that is either one like I have right now either one finger covering the front brake at all times or two uh, whichever you're most comfortable with uh, just for always be ready for um, when the crap hits a fan so to speak you know like if this car in front of me happens to all of a sudden lock the brakes down uh, you know it's, it's not gonna be a good thing if you're not if you don't have that security bracelet of reacting uh, not only faster but more efficient uh, even if you just have one finger on it, if that's what you're most comfortable with, that's okay because that'll start the braking process and that'll give you that much more of a heads up, so to speak, I think. But um, that's another thing that'll help everybody, I think. Uh, the third thing is, you know, always look for road hazards. Like I was just talking about, any debris in the road. Uh, a car might be veering off to your side of the road on a back road or something like that. Uh, just, you never know. You really have to really have your full you know attention at all times to ride a motorcycle safely otherwise it's not going to be a very good day for you at the end um i guess the fourth thing i guess um this is one of my main gripes that i never do like right now uh to never ride in a car blind spot like this uh minivan whatever kind it is uh right there i'm far enough back and i'm in the left part of the lane right here where a car would be, if he happens to get over, want to get over in the right-hand lane, the closer I get to him, then if he looks in his mirror at all, or he especially turns his head, he'll see me. If I'm over here, if he just checks his mirror, he's never going to see me. Um, I try to do that around traffic to not only, you know, be in the proper lane position for uh, everybody around me to see me, but also try to um, to not ride in people's blind spots either. Um, what I'll always do is uh, if, I'm, if you're going to pass somebody like on the interstate or on a 
sit four lane road like this or just whatever. If you're gonna pass them, pass them, go ahead and get by them, you know. I'm not condoling speeding by no means, but don't ride beside them just generally, you know, like uh, grandma pass them. If you're gonna pass them, get past them, get out of their way. You don't know if they're paying attention, uh, if they're looking down at the phone, if they've had a bad day. Maybe they're talking on the phone, just whatever. Just keep yourself away from them as much as you can and just hurry up past them and get past them and get on with your, your ride and they can get on with their day. And everybody's happy. Uh, number one thing, uh, another thing I guess was probably be towards the top of the list as far as looking where you want to go is don't tailgate people, period. Uh, no matter if you're on the interstate, back road, four lane, whatever. But interstate especially, I really hang back quite a bit on the interstate. Like, if you drive a car um, and you don't tailgate on the interstate, you know, if you're back pretty good safe distance, I always try to double that because people swap lanes, people hit the brakes for a car broke down and almost locked the brakes up and just all kind of stuff. And I think that, are, that that's another big safety thing to help everybody is really don't tailgate and stay away from everybody and just... Let everybody do their own thing, and if they want to act like an idiot, swapping lanes and texting and uh, eating on the interstate or just whatever, just hurry up and get away from them and stay away from them. But I just thought I'd make a quick little vlog about some top things that I've used over my about right at three full riding seasons uh, that have really helped me quite a bit. Just thought I'd share that with some of my viewers and maybe somebody who's new to my channel as well today. So on that, guys. Uh, if you like this kind of content, if you like my channel so far, if you've never watched it before, go ahead and hit the subscribe button for more videos and give me a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment down below. If you got any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer them when I have time and uh, share my video on maybe your Facebook or whatever you got. So uh, helps my channel out trying to get to 100 subscribers. Um, getting close to it now. So um, anyways, guys, uh, take it easy, ride safe and have fun. See you next time.